Hello everybody and welcome to Notorious Yu-Gi-Oh! I am Notorious Cly. Illusion monsters are on their way to Master Duel and they're bringing Chimera Fusion with them. Here's what you need to know. Illusion is a new monster type that was introduced in the TCG and OCG in 2023. The first wave of Illusion monsters are inspired by cards from old Yu-Gi-Oh manga, video games, and classic DM monsters. These first wave nostalgia based retrains all form a cohesive strategy named after the central figures of that strategy, Chimera or Chimera Fusion. Before we begin, to save myself from having to repeat this while reading a bunch of these new cards, all of the illusion monsters we'll be going over today cannot be destroyed by battle and cannot destroy other monsters by battle. With that being said, let's get things started with the backbone of the strategy, Gazelle, Perfumet, and Chimera Fusion. Gazelle the King of Mythical Claws is a level 4 earth beast that on normal or special summon can search a level 5 fiend or Chimera Fusion. Also, if it is sent to the graveyard as fusion material, you can search an illusion monster. Big Wing Burfumet is a level 5 Dark Fiend that, on normal or special summon, can search a level 4 Beast, Chimera Fusion, or both. Using this effect locks you into fusion monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Also, if Burfumet is sent to the graveyard as fusion material, you can reborn an illusion monster. Chimera Fusion is a quick play spell that lets you perform a fusion summon during the main phase, provided you use a Beast or Fiend as one of the fusion materials. Chimera Fusion can also add itself to your hand from your graveyard, provided Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast is on your field or in your graveyard. We'll have more on this later. The game plan is simple. Find and summon either Burfumet or Gazelle. Search the card or cards you're missing. Fusion summon an archetypical fusion using Gazelle, Burfumet, or both. Recycle the fusion back to your hand. Set it and use it on your opponent's turn to access the toolbox of disruptive fusion monsters. To help support our simple plan, we have a couple of illusion monsters. Mirror Sword Knight is a level 4 light illusion. While on the field, at quick effect speed, it can tribute itself to summon a monster from deck other than itself that mentions Chimera Fusion. If Sword Knight is on the field or in the graveyard, and you control Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, when a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, you can banish Mirror Sword Knight and negate that effect. Cornfield Cottle is a level 4 wind illusion that can be discarded from your hand to search a monster other than itself that mentions Chimera Fusion. Also, if Kotal is on the field or in the graveyard and you control Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets card you control, you can banish Kotal to negate that effect and destroy that card. If Gazelle, Burfumet, and the Fusion Spell are the backbone of the strategy, then Sword Knight and Kotal are, um, I don't know, the hip bone? Forgive me. It's late, I'm tired, and I'm not really that funny or clever anyways. Mirror Sword Knight gives the deck more ways to find Gazelle, and an easy way to summon Burfumet. A conditional monster negate on top of that is just icing on the cake. Kotal's primary purpose is to serve as extra copies of Mirror Sword Knight. If you already have access to Mirror Sword Knight, however, there really isn't another great search target, since Mirror Sword Knight will likely have already gotten you to Burfumet, who can then get you to Gazelle. Searching another copy of Mirror Sword Knight for follow-up isn't the worst thing in the world, but it would be nice for Kotal's search effect to have a more immediate payoff. Hopefully Konami is willing to expand the Chimera Fusion strategy past its initial 5 main deck cards. Now is the point in the video where we talk briefly about the illusion monsters who are not directly tied to the Chimera Fusion strategy. Nightmare Magician is the only other illusion monster confirmed via the educated guesses from other popular content creators, so we'll talk about that one first. Nightmare Magician is a level 7 Dark Illusion, who has the typical Illusion Clause, and can steal your opponent's monster after battling it, and can destroy a card on the field if another monster attacks. There's not a ton to say about Nightmare Magician, it's all very infrequent play as a going second tool that could help fix some odd or unfavorable game states. There have been a handful of other Illusions released or set to be released in the TCG, but they have yet to be confirmed by the leaks. I'm going to very very quickly go over the relevant ones. Master Tal the Enchanter has seen play as a one of because it can reborn an illusion monster if it is sent to the graveyard. Emissary from the House of Wax is another one of that sees occasional play 
since it is a searchable battle fader type card. Nightmare Apprentice is a free special summon and can search any other illusion monster. I haven't kept up with this playability in the OCG, and it has yet to release in TCG, but this seems like an obvious 3 of. Diabelle's, the original Sync Keeper, gives the illusion or Chimera Fusion strategy a reason to consider the Diabelle Star or Sinful Spoils Engine, due to Diabelle's weird diet anti spell fragrance type effect. That's it for all of our main deck monsters we want to talk about. Now let's move on to the Chimera Fusion extra deck. Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts, is a level 6 Wind Beast Fusion with 2100 attack and 1800 defense, who requires a beast and a fiend monster as fusion materials. Its name becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast while on the field or in the graveyard. See, I told you we would get to it later. If Chimera is fusion summoned, it can rip a card from your opponent's hand during that end phase. Also, it can banish itself from the graveyard during your opponent's turn to reborn a beast, fiend, or illusion type monster. Chimera taking the name of the OG Chimera turns on all of your archetypical card's bonus effects, giving you extra interaction and resources. The hand rip is a novel form of turn 1 interaction, and it's sure to annoy anyone not playing tier limits. The ability to put a Mirror Sword Knight, Burfament, or Gazelle back into play is a great way to regain resources on your opponent's turn and gear up for a big push on your own turn. Chimera is a wonderful retrain of one of Yugi's classic cards. I really wish they would do more retrains like this. Chimera's only real flaw is its mediocre attack and defense, which leaves it vulnerable to being ran over, and it can make it difficult to push through your opponent's bigger monsters unless you find a way to access monster removal. Burfamat, the mythical king of phantom beasts, is a level 6 wind fiend fusion with 2400 attack and 600 defense. It requires two monsters with different types, and those types must be beast, fiend, or illusion. Perfibat's name becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast while it is on the field or in the graveyard. If it is fusion summoned, it can send a beast, fiend, or illusion from your deck to the graveyard. Also, it can banish itself from the graveyard during your opponent's turn to special summon a beast, fiend, or illusion type monster. Much like its fusion counterpart, taking the OG's name will turn on all of your archetypical bonus effects. The ability for Perfibat to send a beast, fiend, or illusion monster to the graveyard is a fantastic way to get missing archetypical pieces into rotation. It also provides an accessible way to hit your opponent with a myriad of floodgates. Here's how. Run your normal combo, make Chimera, recycle your fusion spell, use the fusion spell Chimera and a miscellaneous monster to make Burfamet. Burfamet can then send any of these bastards to the graveyard, and then on your opponent's turn you can banish the Chimera in your graveyard to reborn your floodgate of choice. Chimera the Illusion Beast is a level 8 Dark Illusion with 3100 attack and 2800 defense. It requires Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast and one or more Illusion Monsters as fusion material. The Illusion Beast becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast while in the field or in the graveyard. Also, it cannot be destroyed by battle and cannot destroy anything else by battle. It can also attack monsters up to the number of fusion materials used. Additionally, after battling an opponent's monster, you can drop that monster's attack to zero and negate its effects. This card doesn't have too much going on with its effects, but it's a valuable extra deck monster for the Chimera strategy. It is the OTK tool. If your opponent is foolish enough to leave a monster in attack position, you can make the biggest Chimera and slam it into that monster until your opponent runs out of life points. Just like the other fusion monsters we covered today, taking the name of the OG Chimera turns on your archetypical bonus effects, and this is extra important for Chimera the Illusion Beast, because you'll want your OTK tool to have the very important effect negate of Sword Knight and targeting protection of Kotal. One last thing to consider is the attack reduction and effect negation of Illusion Beast takes place at the end of the damage step. The damage step has very specific and funky rules on what can and cannot be activated during that time. This means your opponent may not have the required forms of interaction to stop your OTK. Now that we've previewed all the new Illusion and Chimera Fusion strategy cards, Let's talk about how many of each card you'll need, what a deck core will look like, and what other decks or engines you can mix this strategy with. Here's how many of each card I would pull, craft, or hold on to. Here is a sample deck core. Here are some engines that have seen compatible success when mixed with the Chimera strategy. Branded saw play as an engine in the Chimera Fusion strategy. 
Adding a Mirror Jade to the end board is a nice bonus, but the primary purpose of Brand Fusion and the strategy is to summon Rinbrom by using Albaz and Gazelle as material. Since Gazelle was sent to the graveyard as fusion material, you would be able to use its effect to search a Mirror Sword Knight and then continue your Chimera fusion strategy plays. In the TCG, the Brandon engine saw splashes of varying sizes from something as small and non-committal as 3 Branded Fusion and 1 or 2 Albaz, or to something as robust as 3 Branded Opening, 1 to 2 Aluber, 1 Springit's Kit, 1 Branded White, 3 Branded Fusion, 1 to 2 Albaz, and maybe 1 Quem. There was even a 60 card, all gas, no breaks Branded Chimera Fusion Hybrid that saw moderate success. Given the limits and semi-limits to Branded and Master Duel, I expect a more robust and diverse engine to be played if it's going to be played at all. Runic also saw play with the Chimera Fusion strategy. Given the heavy deck building investment Runic requires, it's probably more accurate to say that Chimera saw play in Runic as an engine. There isn't a direct synergy between Runic and Chimera like there is with Chimera and Branded, but both strategies play nicely with one another and don't really get in the way. Chimera provides sticky recursive bodies and toolbox options that can help control game states, while Runic provides draw power, utility, and free bodies to use for the tribute summon of Burfamet and the fusion summoning of Guardian Chimera, Predaplant Dragostapelia, or Magnum the Reliever. I don't think this version of the deck will see much play in Master Duel though, given the myriad of hits Runic has taken on the ban list. Like all fusion-based strategies, Chimera found a way to utilize the free resources and polymerization provided by the Patchwork Engine. The Patchwork Engine earned bonus points in Chimera builds, thanks to Edgeimp Chain being a fiend, and a polymerization in the graveyard being a huge boon for a strategy that aims to make Guardian Chimera as often as possible. As a bonus to all of you, here are some deck lists that saw and are still seeing competitive success in the TCG. I'm very excited for the Chimera strategy to finally make its way into Master Duel. Though, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed that Konami decided to release it so late, especially after Snake Eyes. I don't expect the strategy to make a huge meta impact in a hand trap heavy format, but it should be a solid rogue option and a deck definitely worthy of Master 1. Chimera is a cohesive strategy with decent consistency, a well defined game plan, room for non engine, and has the ability to play decently into Maxi. All of those things, plus the nostalgic theming, make this a deck I'm excited to pilot. If you're interested in seeing an in-depth deck profile, gameplay, and general theory or conversation on Chimera, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments exactly what you want to see. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you on the next one, be safe, have fun!